Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to insert and work with sections in a PowerPoint 2016 presentation. In this presentation I have over 20 slides. So, and there are different categories in within the slideshow. If you look at my title slide down here in this lower left area, there are two buttons, one called Dietary Guidelines, and the other called Farm to Table. These buttons don't do anything just yet. That's going to be covered in a different video. But uh, for now, those are the two main categories of the topics of this slideshow. So because it has over 20 slides, what I want to do is create a section just for the Dietary Guidelines slides and another section just for the farm to table slides. Why do I want to do this? Well, because some people who are going to observe this slideshow online may just be interested in one topic or the other and probably don't want to scroll through 20 slides to find them. So if you put them into sections, it can make it easier for people to work with long slideshows and also make it easier for people to find the topics they want. So as you can see I'm in what is called normal view for PowerPoint and so on the main part of my screen is the slide I'm currently looking at right now, the active slide. In my thumbnail pane here on the left it shows a list of all the different slides and I can scroll through them and the slide that has the red outline is the current one I'm looking at in the main screen. Well, the first thing I want to do is put a section with a title to that section in between the first slide and the second slide. So I'm going to click, left click, here in the space between the slides. And so when you see this line going across in the space here, it means you can now insert something. You can insert an, a new slide or a section or whatever. Now there are two different ways that you can insert a section. One way is up here on the tab, in the home tab on the ribbon, you can click the section button and click add section. And by the way, here is where you would go to do things and work with the sections, such as renaming them, removing them, collapsing or expanding. Another way you can insert a section here is to point to the dividing line and right click to get the shortcut menu and then choose add section. Now, just to let you know, when you're adding a section, what you're doing is basically creating kind of a fence around the area that has the slides you want to fence in and make it easier to work with. And you'll see how this works uh, after I put the sections in. You'll see how you can work with the sections. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to click and choose Add Section. And look what happened. Okay, right here there's this little arrow icon and it says Untitled Section. And up here on top, above it, it says default section. So that's what happens when you put in your first section. The slide above becomes the default section. And we're going to change these names. The first thing is we're going to change the name of untitled section, which is this one here. So instead of untitled section, I'm going to call it dietary guidelines. Okay. Press enter. And after pressing enter, the name you gave it will appear over here. So uh, the default section, I'm going to give that a name too to make sure that I know what that is. So I'm going to right click, okay, right click on the default section words and click rename section. So instead of calling it default section over here, I'm going to call it uh, title or title slide. I'm just going to say title. So I'm going to call, I'm going to click rename and, or you can just press uh, enter, which I did before. And so now this says the title. So we have dietary slides. And now I'm going to put in another section for farm to table. As you can guess down here, this other category I'm going to use is farm to table. So I'm going to scroll through my thumbnails until I find a slide that introduces the farm to table area of the slideshow. 
there it is. So above the farm to table slide, I'm going to click to put in a dividing line. I'm going to right click to get the shortcut menu and add section. So now I've created a new section for farm to table and that's what I'm going to call it. So I'm going to come over here to the rename section box and I'm going to type farm to table and press enter or click rename. Either one is fine and that will bring the, the new title over to that section. So now I'm going to scroll all the way back up to the top and you'll notice that the sections that I'm not looking at right now are grayed out. Title and dietary guidelines are gray because in the main screen you can see I'm looking at the farm to table slide. So if I scroll back down into and get to that slide, notice it's orange or bright red um, and the color has to do with the theme color or the design theme that you happen to be using on the slideshow at the time so this color can change from slideshow to slideshow but this is the active one you can see that's got uh, red outlines around each slide now notice I've had to scroll I'm scrolling back up and down to show you these things and frankly it kinda makes me dizzy so I'm going to show you what you can do with these sections Let's say I want to concentrate on working with slides in the farm to table area and I'm not really interested in doing anything with the dietary guidelines slides just now. So if you click this little arrow button here, this little icon, it will collapse all the slides in that section. So this section, dietary guidelines, has 15 slides in it and they're all collapsed in this title now. So the only slides I'm looking at is the title slide and all the slides in farm to table. So I can now comfortably work in these slides and not worry about having to scroll through uh, this huge long list of other slides at the same time. If I want, I can collapse this section too, farms to table, so I'm going to collapse that. And so now I have two sections collapsed. This section has 15 slides in it this section has five slides in it and then there's the title slide and yes you can collapse that one too but it doesn't make anything in the main screen go away so now if I want to work in dietary guidelines but not anywhere else I can open or expand the dietary guidelines section and just work on those slides alone so I'm going to go ahead and collapse that section. As you can see, this can be a very handy tool using sections when you have a long slideshow.